Hi everyone, it's me. So today we are celebrating my six year anniversary in England. Yay! For those of you who don't know me, my name is Alana and I am a Canadian, but I have been living in the southeast of England for the last six years now, you guessed it. And I thought to celebrate, I would go back in my YouTube catalog and react to some of my oldest, most cringiest videos. For the last handful of years, I have been making YouTube videos about my life here in the UK, the exciting stuff and the boring stuff, the adventures and the naps. But once I finish a video, once I finish editing it and I upload it, I do not watch them again because I find it so unbearably cringy in every possible way. But today we are going to dive into my YouTube catalog, some of the oldest, most <laughs> embarrassing videos. I hope you enjoy it. If you've been around for any length of time, really, whether it's been a long time or a short time, thank you so much for making YouTube a really fun, weird, exciting place. I really do appreciate it. And honestly, I never thought we'd be here. So I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm putting off what we're about to do because I'm very nervous. <laughs> So without further ado, let's go. So first up, we have one of the oldest YouTube videos I've ever done. Now, if we're gonna get technical, I have two way back when that I did, but I didn't do them for YouTube. I did them for my blog at the time I was writing like blog articles. So I did a video about getting a driver's license and getting a bank account. Those were never meant to really be watched on YouTube. I just wanted to put them on my blog. However, this first video, what's in my kitchen. I think this is late spring 2017. Yes, we're going back there. This was like the first video that I actually did for YouTube to be watched on YouTube. Um, God, all right, well, here we go. Hi friends and family, um, it's me. It's -a me. That's supposed to be Mario, but. Okay, never mind. I've been watching these American vloggers, like YouTubers, who currently live in South Korea. Um, like kind of, I've watched them obsessively, I don't know why. But they do all these videos about the different types of food and what they make for dinner. And obviously in South Korea, the food is quite different to what we're used to in England or in North America. So that kind of made me think that maybe I could do something like rip their idea off essentially. Uh, and show you what's in my kitchen right now. What are the, some of the things that I eat um, on the daily? So we are in my kitchen and we're angled a certain way because that counter is full of three dishes, but this side is okay. Um, and I basically just want to show you what's in my kitchen. So um, I probably should have bought some food, like typical English food just for this video, but. The first minute, I'm just, wow. You ever just look at yourself and think, honey, what you doing? The first thing that's, that comes to mind is, to be completely honest, I don't really recognize that face anymore, which is strange. And I think what's kind of weird and awesome about YouTube in my YouTube channel, I've always wanted it to be sort of like a time capsule. So if you have watched me on YouTube, or maybe you found me recently and you've gone back, if you actually watch my videos as they sort of progress, you are watching me grow up in real time. It's the strangest thing. I look back on this person, wow. <laughs> Mentally and just everything is so, I don't know how to explain it. The other thing that comes to mind, my voice sounds different. I don't know if you've noticed that. And I don't know if like, I finally reached puberty or something, but my voice in there um, sounds different. So the voice change thing is really weird, but also I should say, watching those um, Americans in Korea YouTube videos that I mentioned, that was kind of like the starting point for me wanting to do my own YouTube channel because I just found it so interesting and I thought, you know what, why not? Maybe people are interested about the UK. And here we are. Let's skip ahead a little bit. They look like eyeballs in a jar. These are medium and tangy. Uh, they just are completely off-putting, but they're in the cupboard, so. 
Indian food um, and curry in general is hugely popular in England. Um, there's probably an Indian shop on every main street. They're everywhere. So good. So good. And you can make a lot of stuff at home. So I get this uh, korma sauce. So you get your korma. Your wow, this is really embarrassing. I don't know how much of this I can take. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so life is different now. <laughs> Although I still love a korma. And I actually had one last night. So we've come full circle. Now next up we have our first ever eat this episode. I used to actually title them eat this but I don't really bother anymore. But this is where I went to grocery stores or shops or whatever and I would just buy British food to taste test. I have had lots of people tell me that these were the videos that they found on my channel first before subscribing which is really cool. Um, you may also recognize this room. Um, I used to film in this living room. This is an old house now. Um, and I also would film after work, so it was always dark. And I bought a really cheap, awful ring light off the internet, which I didn't buy a tripod for. So I, I'm sat in front of a, like a love seat with the tripod on the chair and me sitting on the floor. And you may have forgotten, the, the light would flash. <laughs> the light would flash. And I'm so deeply sorry. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's me. I've gotten a couple messages over the month. Now I'm pretty sure this is also potentially 2017, late 2017. But it's interesting to notice that Hi everyone, it's me has already stuck. At the very beginning, I used to say hi friends and family because I really thought that's kind of like the only people interested. But as people started subscribing, hi friends and family felt kind of funny. So I just picked hi everyone, it's me and, and hi everyone, it's me. And that has stuck ever since <laughs> people ask where that's from. I don't know, I just started doing it and videos from 2017, apparently they still exist. Hi everyone, it's me that people want me to do like a reaction video to British foods so I thought let's see now because I've <laughs> lived in the UK almost two years now I've eaten a lot <laughs> I've eaten a lot and I've tried a lot so this smattering of food is just things that I've found at Asda just kind of grabbing them left right and center and now you guys are gonna watch me eat without further ado let's go that's interesting. So again, by end of 2017, without further ado, let's go, was also born. I don't know why I started doing that. I didn't see it anywhere. It just sort of stuck. And we're going to start with a pork pie, which is just extremely fitting. Pork pie. This is a Melton Mowbray pork pie. Uncured pepper seasoned pork wrapped in our golden pastry. I'm pretty sure I've had pork pies. Definitely, I feel like I definitely had a pork pie, but this is freaking huge. It's like a hockey puck. It's like you did a slap shot with one of these to take out your teeth. Canadian reference there for you guys. Also, side note, just because it's interesting, um, UK food has this color-coded um, like nutritional value thingy. So you can see right away the reds mean high for half of the pork pie. Oh my God, half of a pork pie is 280 calories. I'm supposed to be having dinner. So I'll have, this is like pre-dinner and then I'll have second dinner. Oh my God, it's huge. <laughs> Look at that. And this was one of the small, like there's a one that was bigger than this, but I thought, oh, you know, I'm just gonna have a little bit of it. I should just, this is huge. Another thing that this video always reminds me of, I was just literally, literally sat on the floor in front of a chair and I bite into everything. Um, people were so angry that I did not cut into the pork pie to, to cut like a little slice out to eat. I just went right in. That angered so many people. To this day, I still get comments about it. That was totally pastry. <laughs> Let's see what else we got in here. 
Oh, we're gonna try these. First up of the cheap candy is a chomp. Oh, chomp. Cadbury chomp. It says 30p on the front. I'm pretty sure I paid less than that, but Cadbury chomp. The description, milk chocolate with caramel center. All right. <laughs> Honey, it's totally caramel. It's gonna get in your teeth. Oh, man. This Scott, guys, I feel like I'm having an existential crisis. This is so weird. Um, and this brings back so many memories of my time, like my life during this particular time. It's just crazy to see. Let's see if we can skip ahead. What else do we got? I bought shrimp and bananas. I'm actually allergic to shrimps, so this will be the first time I've ever eaten something shrimp shaped. Um, <laughs> the description says raspberry and banana flo flavored foam candy. So let Absolutely incredible. Scotch eggs are on the top of the savory. The meat pie or the pork pie. Pork pie is alright. I just kind of want to see how I finished it. And the bananas and the jelly babies. They're pretty tied. I think they're both kind of neat. They're, I mean, kind of weird, but also kind of neat. And with that, I need to actually go make dinner. So thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, bye. You guys, that is so... So hi everyone, it's me. Without further ado, let's go. Um, thanks so much for watching, bye, whatever. We're all in place back in 2017. I had no idea. <laughs> I have not changed. But also, yes. So for our next video down old memory lane, this is my two year anniversary in England, not on YouTube. So I think, no, I think 2017 was the first year that I really started uploading each Tuesday. So this was November, 2017. Um, I'm in the same cardigan that I was in for that, um, kitchen video. And this is two years in England, so let's have a listen. Hi everyone, it's me. So, Flashing. I have officially passed two years of living in the UK. Which is pretty crazy. I mean, on one hand, it feels like it's gone by so quickly. And then on the other hand, when I think about what I was like two years ago when I first moved here is like worlds of difference. I haven't really planned out this video. I guess I just wanted to talk about some of the ways that I have changed since living in England. I've got five, I think, in my head. Um, just things that I think are different compared to when I first moved here. So without further ado, let's go. I think the most obvious change would be being more independent. And I think, I mean, I think I was independent back in Canada and that's largely due to just the way my parents raised me. So shout out mom and dad, you know, you, you did a good job, I think. But it's one thing to be independent living in, um, ugh. God, why am I doing this to myself? So. How have I changed two years to six years? It's honestly unrecognizable, I think. Not in a bad way, just it's, it re this channel really is a time capsule of my life. I look at that person, age obviously I'm much younger, <laughs> um, maybe a bit more naive, maybe extremely naive. Um, but even just saying like I feel more independent now is like a hundred times more since then, if that makes sense at all. It's just, yeah, it's so weird. Also the nose ring, rest in peace nose ring. I got my nose pierced in college and I still had it there. Um, I took it off a couple years ago. This is disgusting, but when I was really anxious or nervous about something, I would spin it like, like absentmindedly. I'd spin my nose ring, um, which was disgusting. So I finally was like, you know what? The only way I'm gonna break this habit really is to get rid of it. So I took it out. You you may have been around for the nose pierced era if you were and you're still here. God bless you. It's it's been a hot minute. Let's kind of just scroll, let's go scroll through a little bit. Understanding of how people live. 
I don't know if that makes sense. In Canada, there's like a general way of life and everything's kind of just, you know, that way. But then in England, there's a different general way of life and people just live that way. And English people think, you know, this is how you do it. And Canadian people think this is actually how you do it. And they're differing views and nobody's wrong. It's just interesting to see how people can live and thrive even though they're doing things differently. And even between Canada and England, you'd think there wouldn't be that much difference, but things are still done differently. I don't know, it's just, I find it really fascinating. Oh, baby Alana, you're so sweet. You're so sweet. And I still think about that concept all the time, that my life, before it was kind of like observing how English people lived and how it was different to how I would live in Canada. Now it is the way that I live here in England is different to how I live in Canada. It's not it's it's not about observing English people anymore. It's it's now I now live that way, which is kind of kind of crazy. So next up we have my one of my early larger videos. Now, originally I titled this English Observations because I wasn't really sure what to call it, but I ended up posting it as Lesser Known Things About England. And it was this video that I actually got a substantial amount of views, even for my channel nowadays. It really took off. So I think this was around February or March 2018. Um, again, old. <laughs> Um, I only recently donated that card again, so not much has changed. But you may recognize again, that particular living room, I'm still using the really awful ring light, that like the, the light flashes and you can see it in my eyes. But this video was about lesser known things about England. Let's have a listen. Hi everyone, it's me. This week I wanted to share some observations I've had about England as a Canadian who's lived here for two years. Basically, I wanted to share some maybe like lesser known things. So if you are not British, these are things you probably didn't know about England. And if you are British, these are things that you might not realize other countries don't do. Either way, they're just my observations. Please, Lord, don't get offended. There oh, is will. always somebody who gets offended. And again, I am Canadian living in the southeast of England, so these observations are from there. I'm not saying all of the UK is the same. Can't speak for everybody else, but these are just some things that I've noticed. I think those are all the disclaimers. I hope. So without further ado, let's go. I guess in my mind, I sort of imagine I'm just gonna do this like rapid fire. We're not gonna, we're not gonna talk about it too much because then I'll just keep talking and then I won't stop talking and then I'll, this video will be like a million years long. Most things in England tend to use 24 hour time. So like, it's so weird. This whole experience is so weird. Looking at that person, I have changed in ways that I can't even describe. You know, it's just unreal. However, I'm still making the same lame jokes and I'm still doing the same sort of like slow cuts in my videos and I'm still talking about similar things. So it's just weird how some things are very much similar and then yet me as a person is very, very different. But let's jump ahead and see what else we talk. We talk about 24 hour time. I don't know, again, I don't know if this is everywhere, but in the Southeast, a lot of the big grocery stores, the cashier um, will sit and scan your items, but you're in charge of bagging them, which doesn't seem like a big deal, but I used to work at I remember this. I used to work at Walmart and I got really annoyed that in North America for many stores, and maybe they're changing it by now. I hope they are. But I used to have to stand as a cashier for my eight hour shift, scan all the items and bag all the items. And I remember coming to England and seeing like people at Little or Aldi especially, they, they just sit there and they scan as fast as possible and you have to do everything else. I was so, I was in awe. Let's jump ahead. Um, but I've never heard really people call it America. So that's kind of interesting. I don't know why. I mean, it makes sense. That's what it's called. It's called the United States of America. So it makes sense to call it America, but we just don't. If you're living in England, chances are your mailbox is just like a slit on the door. In Canada, you'll either have a mailbox 
like on the exterior wall of your house by your front door like a metal usually thing that you put the mail in or you might have a mailbox at the end of your driveway if you're like more rural and the post that's a good point i totally forgot about that being a thing i'm learning all sorts of stuff anyway let's skip ahead i want to see how this ends okay if you guys have any ideas of things that you'd like to see or for me to talk about please leave a comment because coming up with ideas is hard. Is. I'm hoping to do more vlogging type stuff, but I don't really go out a lot. So, but as always, thank you guys so much for watching and until, until next time, bye. Oh guys, this is just so weird, but let's do one more video. Next up, and finally, we are finishing out our old school video tour in March 2018. Now you may remember this was the beast from the east. I have had loads of people message me that this was actually the first video they saw of my channel, which is really, is out know, it's cute. For those of you who weren't here or don't know what I'm talking about, the beast from the east was just a really bad snowstorm and that was even to this day, that's the most snow I have seen in England um, since then. <laughs> so I actually did a video. Let's kind of skip ahead. Oh my goodness. Raining. So originally I wanted to do this outside, but I'm, I'm not willing in the snow rain. A lot of you guys have asked me what I think about the beast from the east. So without further ado, let's go. So for those of you who don't know me, I am a Canadian living in Kent. I um, have been here for the last two years and I can safely say this is the most amount of snow I've ever seen in England. And I absolutely love the way the English deal with it. From All right, I'm pretty sure there was a point where I went outside. Oh, just kidding. Did I sit here at this? Oh, here we go. Yes, you guys. Look at the amount of snow. I've never seen England like this. This is unbelievable. So, everything is shut down here in England. In Kent, rather. Um, we've actually got quite a bit of snow. Buses are shut, work is shut, everything's shut. People are kind of going nuts. Which is really sweet. I actually really like it. In Canada, we would just be forced to go to work. Like, there's nothing new. Look at this, it's crazy. You guys, this whole experience has been so weird. It's, you know, you have memories. I mean, okay, everybody has memories. You have memories of your own life. It's not often that you can go back and watch videos that replay those memories and they are different than how you remember them. So it's just, it really is strange. It's wonderful, I'm glad that I did this. Did you hear that? It's my stomach. I'm hungry. <laughs> it's, we gotta wrap this up. I need to go have lunch. But I do just want to say that I am deeply grateful for everyone who has joined me on this crazy journey as a Canadian living in England. And now when I do my videos, I'm gonna have to say, um, for those of you who don't know me, my name's Alana and I'm a Canadian, but I've been living in England for the last six years. Truly, thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for watching this video. I would love to know what has been your favorite video. Honestly, I have been uploading a video every Tuesday since 2017. There were so many to choose from, but I decided to go with some of the oldest. So I know some people wanted me to react to tasting British cheese and the um, cracker disaster, if you know what I'm talking about. Or my most popular video is actually, how can you tell when you're in a British bathroom? <laughs> there are so many to choose, but I wanted to go old, old, old school. And if you guys like this video, we can do another one at some point. Um, I'm kind of getting over the cringiness. I think maybe I'm, maybe I'm growing, you know, I'm more wise. I, I can deal with the embarrassment a little bit better. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, Bye. Instead, in England, we have squash, of which I have three varieties because I drink a lot of juice. Another way I've changed is by greeting people. When I walk into a shop or work or anywhere, I'll go, hiya.
Hiya! Hiya! People tend to sign like texts or messages to people with an X or maybe multiple X's but definitely at least just one. At first I thought this was like a flirty thing because it's like you're sending a kiss to somebody like, excuse me? Pretty, mu pretty much everybody does it. I mean, we have a cleaning lady that comes sort of once a month and she sends me X. You know, she'll be like, see you see then, Alana, X. It's like, I've only met you like twice. 